Have you ever wondered how blockbuster movies get that dreamy glow around lights? What if you could do that right now in your next video? Typically there are two types of glows that you'd see in films. The first one is called bloom, which is just the highlights blooming around the image to create a soft roll off. The second is known as halation, which is just the reddish orange glow that you see around bright edges. The good news is this is super easy to achieve in Premiere Pro without using any plugins. But I wanna throw in another film effect tip that you can do at the end, so watch out for that. And the settings for the effects I'm gonna go over are not a one size fits all, so you are gonna have to play around with them depending on your shot. Mainly because if we want both bloom and halation, it's important for us to start in this order to get the best results. The first thing to do is to duplicate the clip. Simply just hold Alt or Option and click and drag the clip up. Then disable the original clip by selecting it and clicking Shift E. Now go to the effects and search for Luma Key. Drag and drop that on top of the clip we just duplicated. Then go up to the effect controls and adjust the threshold and cutoff. We want to see just the main highlight areas of the clip. Now go back over to the effects panel and search for fine edges, then drag and drop that on the clip. And then under its effect controls, click the invert box. And there are those glowing edges we were looking for. But to get it to look more accurate, you're going to want to go over to Lumetri and go to the color curves. And under the RGB curves, click the red dot, then adjust the curves until nearly all of the edges have a reddish orange tint to them. It's starting to look pretty good, but we do need to blur them a bit. So head back over to the effects panel and search for Gaussian blur, and then add that onto the clip. I'm gonna add just 15% blur. I feel that's a pretty good happy medium. Now we can re-enable the bottom clip by clicking Shift E on it again. This is not gonna look very pretty. That's because we need to adjust the blend mode for the halation clip. Just click the drop down and select screen. It still may be a little too much, so we can just turn down the clip's opacity to make it look more natural. And if at any point you're not seeing your effects play back at normal speed, go up to Sequence and click Render Effects in and out. Now that you have the halation effect, it's time to start on the bloom, which is honestly a pretty similar process to what we just did. So like before, we'll duplicate the bottom clip and put it on top and disable both clips underneath. Go to the effects and search for Luma Key and add that to the clip. And like before, let's isolate those highlight areas. Now go back over to the effects and add the Gaussian Blur. We can actually blur this one quite a bit more. For this particular effect, we're gonna change the blend mode to lighten. This is gonna add a natural glow to the underneath footage. Now we can re-enable those bottom clips to see how it's looking. If it's too bright, turn down the opacity. But if it looks like there isn't much of an effect, you can go to Lumetri and bring up the exposure. And for that extra tip that I mentioned, we're gonna go over to our project panel and right click and then add a new adjustment layer. Drag that on top of the footage. Now I'll go over to the effects and search for noise. Then add that to the adjustment layer. Under the effect controls, uncheck the use color and then turn the amount down to about 10%. Now we have film grain to really make all of these effects come together nicely. But if you're still having trouble with the playback, check out this video that I made on speeding up Premiere Pro. Click it. Click it.